No, unfortunately, the title of this video is not clickbait. With what we're seeing in the market right now, with what I'm seeing in the market right now, you need to seriously be thinking about selling. I'm thinking about selling. And if you are not prepared for what is about to happen, you're not going to make it. 90% of people that get into crypto, they do not leave in profit. And if you skip this video, you don't watch what I'm about to tell you, especially if you're new, you're not making it out of here alive. The odds are 90% you're not leaving with profit. And every other influencer is gonna get you really excited, get you really pumped up as we go higher and higher, and even as we cross all time high right now. But the God's honest truth is you're not gonna make it unless you are really able to recognize what is happening in the market right now and what is about to happen in terms of dumps and the overall movements of coins as we get deeper into this market. And we're no longer in the early market. We are entering the mid market, which is the most terrifying point of a bull run, which is why I'm not doing the spec, which is why I'm not telling you jokes, because right now with the phase of the market that we're getting into, we need to be serious. We need to sit down and we need to talk about this. And this video is meant to save you. If you don't apply what I'm talking about here, especially if you're new, you're not going to recognize what's going on and you're going to lose all of your money just like everybody does when they get into crypto. My disclaimer where I tell you this is financial suicide, I'm not joking in it. Like I'm being straight up serious with you. A bull run, especially a mid-market late bull run that we're entering right now, you're not going to enjoy it. It's not all funs and giggles like everybody's posting on crypto Twitter. And what I'm going to do in this video is tell you what we're looking at right now and how you need to be thinking about selling right now and also how the rest of this run is likely to shape up so that you don't make big selling mistakes and when the time comes you don't end up losing all your money like 90 percent of people will and also what i'm going to share with you right now is going to save your brain so that you don't fall into these traps that everybody else falls into so please pay attention this is probably the most important video i'm going to make this entire market and as we heat up this is where you have to you have to lock in. You have to. You can mess up everything else I talk about in my other videos, but if you don't get this right, you're done. You're going to be liquidity. So the first thing you need to understand, we need to have a quick little reality check with crypto. So first things first, yes, I'm going to be talking about whether I'm selling or not or what I'm doing with my coins and everything at this point in time here in a second. Here's the number one thing you need to realize. Now, if you've been in crypto for a few cycles, you know this, but if you're getting involved this is your first time or maybe even your second cycle. People don't really get this. Everybody thinks crypto is a team sport. We're all in this together. You think you're on a team with me and all these other people on Twitter. We're going to get retail and we're going to dump on people's grandmothers. We're all going to run off in the sunset. No, that's absolutely not what's going on here. Every single person you see, including me, is your enemy in crypto. Because here's why 90% of people don't leave in profits. You see, here's Solana right here. You see this big run up right here and you think oh everybody that bought down here uh exited for tons of money right here that's not what happened my naive little padawan friend the way crypto works is we all put money in a pot and as we put money in a pot what happens is the price starts to go up now this is a gross summarization but it works for the point point. and as we all put money in the pot we all hold and hold and hold and hold and what crypto is is basically a game of chicken where you try and guess when people are going to start taking money out of the pot and then the price which is supported by people putting money in the pot. Well, the way people get out at this price is they take money out of the pot. And what happens when they take money in the pot is there's no money left for anybody else. See, the way gains are made in crypto is by killing everybody else that invests in the coin with you. That's how it is. This isn't a stock market where we just gradually go up. It's not an Amazon stock. We're going up 10% year over year. And if you take your money out, that's fine. It's just going to keep going up. No, crypto, we all get in. We all put money in a pot. And then about 5 to 10% of people in a coin yank all the money out. And there's no money left for anybody else. They kill everybody else. The liquidity, their profits come from killing other people. This is the Hunger Games. And so the first thing you need to get through your head is that the only way you're getting out of here alive, we're, we're in a coliseum, all right? There's 100 other people in this arena with you. And the only way you're getting out alive is you have to kill those other people. You have to outperform them in the market. You have to beat them. In crypto, we're not just coming in and pulling money in and out. You are playing a game of chess with millions of other people and you are trying to kill them and only 10% of us are getting out of this arena. So know that as we go up and up and up and up, what is happening is someone... All your buddies are investing in the coins with you. Heck, including me, I want to leave here alive as well. Everyone's just waiting to stab you in the back. Crypto is PVP as f There is no wag me, there's no together. We all go up and then a few leave. And if you don't pay attention to this video, you're not going to be that few. So let's talk about what just happened in the market, okay? Because we just had our first sort of dump, but I don't really think this is a dump, but I want to talk about this so you recognize what we're seeing right now. So. 
If you're watching it at this time, we just crossed all-time high, and then we just got a big old, <laughs> it doesn't look like a big rejection um, right here. But it is a pretty big rejection by everything we've seen. Now, what does this mean? Does this mean I'm selling right now? No. No. But we are 100% into what I consider the mid-market. We're not in the late market stages yet. And it's really hard to know when we're in the late market stages, but we're definitely in the mid-market stages. And so what does this mean? If we go to the all-time in crypto, I really only like using the, uh, the last bull run because that's what I'm in and I can tell you the best from it. So if we look at the last bull run from 2019, let's go all the way to the COVID dip right here. Okay. Anybody that bought in this point right here, you experience this kind of run up from here, all right? And th this was actually a substantial run up. If you look at altcoins or, or any miniature coins, which we like to hold on this channel, all the coins, uh, five to 10X in this period right here, and then they did another 10X uh, from here, all right? So we're just following Bitcoin, but we're looking at the overall trajectory of the market. And what we're at right now in the market is I believe we're about right here. Okay, so this is where Bitcoin busted its old all-time high, but we're moving very differently right now. I think the market has been pushed up because everybody knows the halving's coming, everybody knows the ETF have come in, so people are getting really horny uh, faster. <clears throat> and just to be straight up, going from 15 uh, K to 69,000 is way crazier than going from 17 K to 39,000. Now, again, I think we have a lot higher to go, but that doesn't matter. That's not the point of this video, nor am I suggesting that you sell everything right now. If I were you and I was giving advice to you, like you're my dad or my, my sister or something like that, I would tell you to sell everything because the only time you are guaranteed to leave the arena and profit is if you sell when you're in profit. So we all know you're not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. We think this bull run is going much higher, past $100,000 Bitcoin. That's the thesis we're trying to stick with right here. And I can give you no certainty that that's going to happen. We could reverse and go into recession at any time here. I'm not trying to predict the future. That's just my thesis. I think the risk is worth taking. That being said, I think we're a lot closer to this phase of the market right here. And so if you look at this 39,000 mark right here, we went all the way down to 30,000. So about a 25% dip. In context for where we're at right now, that's going from 69,000 all the way down to 52,000. We just went down to like 61,000 uh, yesterday. And everyone's like, oh, oh, dip's nothing. I'll keep going. I'll keep going. You, you silly sausage. We have not seen anything yet. And as we get into the mid-market, this is what we're going to start to see. So from here to here, everything was an extremely easy hold, just like we've done on this channel. If you got on the super, you got on the AI coins we talked about, it's been very easy to hold these. We're all up like 10, 15 X on all these coins. There hasn't been any significant dumps. We've had like 30% dumps on altcoins, 10, 15% dumps on, on Bitcoin. All this has been very easy to hold through because Bitcoin is just aiding up the dump every single time, just like we saw in the early market of this bull run. Look, you can look, look at all these dumps right here. It really didn't, it really wasn't that scary, okay? We'd see this dump right here, just whatever. We take a 20% dump, yeah, whatever. However, once we got to this point right here, this is where we start seeing real dumps happen. After we cross all time high, which I think is very similar to this point right here, we are going to eat 25, 20%, maybe even 30% plus dips, even maybe 50% is closest dips right here like we saw in the last market, at least, two, maybe three times on the way up. We might even see more than that. If you look at the 2017 run, there was like five of these types of dips. I don't think we're in that same type of market. What is the point I'm trying to make at this point? It is going to be very scary going forward. Bull markets are terrible. Everything from this, this part of this bull market right here onward was not a fun experience because you're, you're entering this right now way up or entering the market while it's way up and you're having to actually sit back and watch your net worth get cut 25% if you're in altcoins, 50, 60% frequently. And I'll talk about the final dump at the end of this video and how to watch it and how to play it. And by the way, if you wanna be closer and see what I'm thinking about the market much faster, follow me on Twitter at ZSS Becker. You're gonna get updates on what I think the market is doing way faster. And also you would have been in like the last 10 coins we, we got into that I didn't have time to make videos up. They're up like three, 500% since then. It's a cool place to be, but that's not what we're here to talk about. But 
what's going to happen is we're going to have these nasty dips that are look, going to look very convincing. It's it, the recession. There is going to be a recession, in my opinion, and we're just delaying it. And all these dips are going to look like bull market is over. Recession is starting kind of dips. And what is going to happen is everybody's going to laugh at them. They're going to be down 25% and they're going to laugh it off. And, and two or three times, the laughing, it will, it will be right. It will be right. And then one time it's going to dip. Everyone's going to be laughing. And it's just going to dip some more. And there's not going to be a recovery. You go, oh, no, it's going to recover. It's going to recover. And you're going to think, oh, no, it's going to recover. It's going to recover. You're down 50%, but whatever. You've been there before. And then it just doesn't recover. And then you get what I saw or showed you in that Solana chart. Everybody takes their money out of the pot. And you look back to the pot where all your giant net worth and your on paper giant gains were. And they're gone. And that's it. And you are the 90%. They got eaten alive in the arena. Also, as I shoot this, I want to point out one thing. You probably knew this if you've been around crypto, but you see these giant dumps right here or the giant dumps that I pointed out in Bitcoin. When these happen, it's not like you get the chance to pull out mid dump. Okay, because Coinbase uh, is going to go down. Uh, you're not going to have access. Uh, the buy orders on Coinbase, you're not going to be able, it doesn't matter Coinbase, Binance, whatever you're using, you're not going to be able to get fulfilled for the price you want. And it's just going to keep going lower and lower as people keep dropping the price. And all the DEXs that you trade on, if you've if you've moved on the DEX trading in private custody, they're going to get locked up. The price is going to keep changing so much you can't exit until it's cratered at the bottom. Okay, there's too many people that actually have first dibs on all of these systems. You don't get, you get the chance to exit down here. Okay, you're not going to get the chance like, oh, it's just starting to crash. You're not going to get the chance there. So don't think you're going to be like, oh, I'm just going to wait for it to really start dipping and I'll pull out. No, it's going to go. And then you have, hey, do you want to sell here? And you'll be like, no, 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 it's recovering. Do you want to sell here? That's how it's going to work. So knowing that it's going to set in here very quickly when we eat these first 30 percent dips that you're not you're not in a fun place right now. You're not in a, a happy-go-lucky. Uh, you're not Chuck E. Cheese rolling around the ball pit. So first off, how do we play this? Well, the number one thing you have to realize first off is there's two ways you're going to get killed in this bull market. There's only two ways. Actually, there's like a billion different ways, but the main ones that are going to get you are going to be you getting shaken out by dips and then you not catching the final dip. Those are the two things that are going to kill you. If you can just avoid those two things, you're going to probably leave here in profit. Maybe not max profit, but you're going to leave here pretty damn up, especially if you've been uh, with me on the channel since November, we are comically up. If we if we leave where we're at right now, we're still in a really good place. So what is going to first kill you is I'll, I'll give you a little story. I got in right here last bull run and then this happened, this nice 20, 30% dip right here happened. I got terrified and sold this right here. Then it started to recover and I bought back in. And so I took a nice 25, 30% haircut on my total portfolio. That stunk. That's the first thing that's gonna to happen to you. And what you need to realize is we cross this all time high is you're just going to have to set a point in your head where you think Bitcoin's gonna to get to that's pretty reasonable and you're just gonna to have to stick with it. The most likely scenario here is if we're gonna dumb this down into the most basic way of looking at this, we wanna go dirt or dirt because you're not a trader. None of us are skilled traders right here. We're not gonna be able to read this market. You've no chance of doing that unless you've been doing this for a decade. It's, that's not gonna be where you went at. And so we can set very simple rules for ourselves that stop us from shake, being shaken out of our bags. One, we're probably going to see at least two 25 to 30% dips on the way to the top. So what is the lesson in this? Don't sell those dips. That's, that's just, don't sell the first two dips. After that, we really need to start thinking a little bit more proactively about how we're going to sell, which I'm going to get into in this later on in this video. Finally, we have to set an actual thesis of where we think Bitcoin is going to go because the market stops and starts with Bitcoin. It, it doesn't matter what your altcoins are doing. It doesn't matter how bullish they are. It doesn't matter what Ethereum is doing. It only matters what Bitcoin is doing. If Bitcoin reverses and goes back down and crashes, everything's going down and that's the end of the bull market. So realistically, where is Bitcoin going to get to? Now, I think on the table is a 200, 250K Bitcoin. I could see it all day. I could see this being the super cycle. And, and Bitcoin becoming super scarce. And BlackRock and other institutions, they certainly want that to happen. So that is on the table. My reasonable expectation here is I think we're going past 100K. And so my overall thesis is I'm not even considering selling until we get past 100K. Now, if we don't get past 100K, I am screwed, host. That's just what it is. There is no way to avoid risk in this market. And what I see beginners try and do is they try and make out this complicated game plan thinking they're going to remove risk. No, you're just going to have to say, I'm going to accept the risk 
until we get past a certain mark. My thesis is about 100K, and that's really where I'm like, all right, time to get into our selling patterns, which I will talk about a little bit later on this video that are going to protect us. Other than that, you're just going to have to sit and, and, and hold your dick. There is no way around it. Don't sell the first two dumps. Pick a place where you think Bitcoin is gonna get to, and you just gotta wait it out. Because these dumps are going to be horrendous. Now, how do we survive the final dump, the last dump? How do we know what it is? Here's the thing, you won't. So what you have to do is after we hit these marks where our thesis points are, we have to start doing proactive selling. We have to start phasing out of the market correctly. There is not going to be some clean, nice, orderly, correct your profits kind of thing. At the end of the last bull run, for example, everybody was waiting for the blow off top. They're waiting for Bitcoin to go from 70K to 100K in a week, and then they all start selling. They all just thought, oh, we're just gonna have an orderly exit. No, it got to this point right here, it dipped. Everybody started panicking about right here, and they said, oh, it's coming back, it's coming back, and then it just dipped more. No one, no one did that. There was no, there was no orderly exit. You just lost all your money. That's it. <clears throat> and when this starts to happen right here, you're going to think it's coming back and it's going to look like it's coming back and it's just not. So the best way to deal with the final crash is just assume you're not going to catch it, buddy. That's it. You're not, you're not some decade old trader. You weren't making money in the bear. You're a fool who's caught a bull run. So how do we trade if we're that type of person, if we're talentless fools who got lucky in a bull run. This is how you do it. So the first part is going to be mental management. And the number one thing you need to take away, if I could give you any advice in this video, is this. You're not a trader. You're not good at this. There's nothing you've done that remotely resembles talent. There's nothing I've done that remotely resembles talent except focusing on the gaming niche for two to three years. And when Bitcoin started to go back up, I just went all in the gaming niche. And I just took a big old risk with a few percent of my net worth, which is sizable. I'm way up right now. It's pretty juicy, but that's it. That's what I did. And what you're going to try and do if this is your first or second run, primarily if it's your first run, you're going to think, oh man, there's going to be some TA signs. There's going to be some influence or I'm going to be able to piece all these things together and get a picture of what the market's going to do. No, no, you're not. All these influencers, they're drunk. Most of them have been here for three cycles and they're still not rich. What does that tell you about them? Does it seem like they're good at this? A lot of them fumbled tens of millions of dollars last morning. No, there's no influencer or TA guy on Twitter who's gonna help you see this through. Most of the people doing TA and all this stuff, they're selling you a course or some membership or whatever. They're doing it to get you in so you think that there's some God and then they're gonna pitch you all this stuff and make tons of money off of you and walk away rich regardless of your performance or results in the run. No one can call this. You're not gonna, by all means. And if there is people who can, it is certainly not you, sir. So the first thing you gotta do is don't be sitting here trying to trade in and out in coins. Don't be trying to play the dips. Don't be thinking you you have suddenly discovered some raw talent that you didn't know about that allows you to have some instinct in the market. You don't, you don't. So what does this mean? It means buy your coins and sit in them. Just sit. Don't long-term hodl. There is a plan to sell. We're not holding any of these to the moon. Every single coin is gonna go down 95%. And the worst thing about this, this run is I think this is where the regulations start to set in. And while, yes, you could make more money if you traded from one niche to another niche or caught another niche or another niche, it's not, it's not gonna happen, okay? The second thing I'm gonna tell you is focus on one niche. For example, the only niches I trade in are AI and gaming, why? because I can just focus on those and I can know everything that's going on. It's not too hard, okay? I know pretty much every coin in gaming, what it's gonna do, why it's moving. So this also gives me a little bit of an edge because I know when coins are reaching market caps that are way too high. I know when coins are moving uh, way past where they should be. And so this gives me an edge of knowing when to sell. I have a little bit of this edge in AI coins as well. That's it. What's going to happen to you in this bull is you're going to see NFTs pumping. You're going to see ordinals pumping. You're going to see meme coins pumping. You're going to see all sorts of layer ones and their tech pumping. If you try and grab everything, you're going to miss everything. So don't, don't think of yourself as some elite market crypto trader. Just pick a niche. Say, what would I do if I'm the dumbest person possible? I would pick one, maybe two niches, five to 10 coins, and I would just sit there and hope, and hope in my jellies that they go to the moon. That's what a stupid person would do, and that is what you should do. That is what I am doing. And it's paying off very, very, very well. I'm not catching every pump in every market, but man, gaming just keeps going up. AI keeps going up. And while I'm missing pumps and meme coins and NFTs and all sorts of other stuff, I don't care. I'm just gonna sit here, and this is how I'm gonna outperform almost everyone except the most elite, elite level of traders, which I am not. Now, the next thing, 
this is going to sound super crazy. Stop tracking your total portfolio value. It is completely irrelevant. What are you going to do? Uh, I'll tap on this in one more second. But what are you going to do with this extra data? What are you going to do with knowing exactly the net worth of your, your crypto portfolio? Are you going to like see some move and then trade in and out? No, you're not going to be able to do anything. There's no point in you feeding yourself more information because you don't know what to do with it. You're not a competent trader. So there's no point in saying, oh God, this, my portfolio is hit this point. No, it's just, no, that's, that's not what you're going to do. What we're going to do is yes, it's okay to know like the prices of coins. Like I know, I don't have any idea how much beam I have. I have a lot of beam like seven figures worth of Beam. But I have no idea exactly how much money I, I have in Beam right now. I just know I have a lot. And I know what the price of Beam is, and I have a ton of money. Like eight figures worth and all sorts of gaming and stuff like now. But I have no idea what that total number is because it doesn't help me. And so while I track the prices of coins, the only thing I'm looking at is I'm looking at the, the, the price of Bitcoin because that's really the only thing that matters. And if I'm watching my net worth go up by, in my case, millions up and down every single day, I'm just going to go insane. And the same thing is with you. If, you. if you're exposed a lot to crypto, you're just going to go insane. And you're going to be like, oh man, I had, I had 200,000 yesterday and now I have 120,000. Oh God, what, what am I going to do? I can pay off my student loans. I can pay off my mortgage or, or finally get that car if I just held or if I caught this dip. And you're just going to go insane. So you might as well just not do that and just watch Bitcoin. And when it crosses 100,000 and altcoins are heating up again, be like, huh, okay. Uh, it, it probably based on where the market is right now, this is when I should probably be exiting. And in regards of where your, your total portfolio is at now, you just start converting to USDC. And I'll talk about selling patterns here in a second. That's what you do. Cause you again, are a fool. We are all fools. This is gambling. Even the people that claim to be able to read the market, they were some of the biggest losers last run. Some of the biggest losers. The people who thought they were idiots and said they couldn't call the market. They're the ones who left alive because they were scared. Now, lastly, the way we protect ourselves from the final dump and the way we make sure that we probably leave at the best time is we understand mini cycles and isolated cycles and how coins move in the market. So if you don't already know, so the way the market works is going to work like this. Bitcoin is going to go on its run and it's going to go down 5 to 10%. It's going to lollygag around. In this time span, ETH is going to go up to have its run and it's going to go down a little bit and lollygag around. And then what is happening is all the, the top altcoins, top 100, they're going to go on their run and then they're going to sell down. And then the many coins, usually gaming and AI coins, are going to go on their runs. Okay, and so what this really is, is it's money moving into big, moving from Bitcoin and Ethereum into altcoins into gaming coins. And as we get deeper down the liquidity or market cap, so Bitcoin has a giant market cap of trillions of dollars. Some of the coins we trade in have market caps of like $20 million. The X's get much higher. So Bitcoin goes up 20%, Ethereum goes up 35%, altcoins go up like 100%, and then the mini coins go up 200, 300%. Now, the double-edged sword of all of these is that these ones also go down the fastest. But another thing you really need to keep in mind is once you get past Ethereum, everything goes down 90 to 95%. There's no like, oh, I'm in Solana, so I'm safe. No, <laughs> no, you silly beaver. You are not safe. You're, you're going to eat a 90% loss too. And in my opinion, after a 65% unrecoverable loss, you're already wrecked anyway. So we might as well just be absolute pieces of and play Russian roulette with five bullets in the chamber. Because either way, this market goes down, we're getting shot. That being said, what you need to understand about this is if we're trying to maximize our gains, let's look at a, let's look at a thought exercise we could do. So when Bitcoin goes to, let's say, 100K, all right, it's going to go to 100K and then it's going to double dabble around. And let's say like this might be the end of the market, it might not be. But what can we conclude? Regardless if this is the end of the market or not, ETH is probably going to pump, alt's going to pump, and then my micro cap's going to pump. Now, the one thing I don't want you to get distracted with is we're going to see all sorts of isolated pumps. You're going to see coins that pump for no reason. You see meme coins, NFT coins, specific coins that are hot, hyped on Twitter. We're not playing this. We're not playing these damn games. <clears throat> Do not play crypto Twitter, chase the beaver. It's like chasing around a pig that's covered in oil and everybody's be like, I caught the pig, I caught the pig. But really, like 1% of people catch the pig and everybody else is just in a man pile covered in oil. Back on topic though, Bitcoin gets to 100K. 
then probably drops like, I don't know, 90K or something like that. I don't know. What we can probably guesstimate is that Ethereum's gonna go, then uh, top 100 altcoins are gonna go, then our micro caps are gonna go. This is probably when this starts to go up and everyone starts to get excited, it's time to start phasing out. Now, what is likely to happen in my opinion? I think Bitcoin's going way farther than this, but I don't care at this point. I'm good. Uh, you have to start, and there's there's a way to play the market after you exit the market too. There, don't worry, we're not ever getting completely out of the market. <clears throat> but we can probably guesstimate once we get to the point in our thesis where we think we're at, it's probably time to start phasing out of, of these coins and playing a little bit more defensively. Because if we go back, let's go look at, at Bitcoin. When Bitcoin topped last cycle, let's look at the actual top. It was November 9th. Now let's look at the top on an altcoin like AVAX, for example. You can see that this thing popped about 20 days after the Bitcoin top, about 10 days. And you can see it actually had like its next top. And the bull market was, there's lots of raging bull markets after Bitcoin hit its top. Like we, people were still dicking around in the market. So <clears throat> what we probably wanna do is we can see these charge-ups happen uh, right afterwards. So if we go look at like, let's look at Cedify last market. Kind of more a coin we trade in. We still like a lot right now. Been very good to us this bull run. We can see the peak of this happened almost 20 days after the Bitcoin all-time high. So what are we what are we thinking right here? Probably a little bit past where our thesis point is in Bitcoin, maybe five, 10 days. Like it's it's this is when we want to start taking profits or at least considering it. My thesis this bull run is we're gonna to jump to 200K and everyone's gonna sell way too early because everyone has having the same PTSD that I am. But this is my thesis. You can set another one. You might think Bitcoin's going to 150 and that's like, I don't think that's outrageous. But I'm conservative and I've, I've been in this market since like right here. Okay, I am, I am up a lot. I, I can play, and the people that have been in this channel from November, we can play a little bit more of a, of a tiddly wink game. We don't have to make it to the end of this bull run. So if you're getting in right now, understand like a lot of people you're competing with, we don't have to make it to the end. And we're fine with like leaving even right now. Now, here's where things get fun because I made a lot of money doing this last run uh, near the end of it. You're gonna see if we're going 150K or 200K, there's gonna be a lot of money to be made. So what we're gonna wanna do is, let's say we get to 100K Bitcoin and we, we, we pansy out, okay? We take like 70% off the table or whatnot. Now, I really want you to go look below this video. I have a micro cap trading video that actually shows how I phase out of coins. I'm just gonna use generalities here. I don't think selling 70% of your bag at a certain point is wise. I think we phase out over the top of the market and as we start going down. That's how we wanna play it. But even if we do pull all the way out at 70%, there are so many projects that are going to be launching and starting at 20 mil market caps. And so what's gonna happen in crypto, particularly in altcoins, is we're gonna see projects get to like, you know, Beam is probably gonna go to like $3 billion, okay? And a lot of people have been holding it like me from like, I don't know, $200 million market cap or something. We're in a lot of profit. So what we're gonna do, and the best thing to do from these points is you take money out and then you go and find the smaller coins, the $20 million coins, because that's what everybody's going to do. You have to understand crypto. It's not about the technology or the coins or anything like that. These mods will just all be competitive Ponzi schemes for the next few years until the tech actually comes around. And you have to understand that 90% of these coins, 95% of these coins will never do anything. And they're going to pump because other coins are pumping. So for example, Beam is gonna go to the moon because it's a really useful technology, but every single coin that's similar to Beam is also gonna go to the moon because it's similar to Beam, regardless if they have any merit whatsoever. So please understand it. So when you're thinking like, oh, do I find the next big tech? No, what people look at is they look for smaller coins that have a great narrative. Then you go into these coins, you take some money out. Let's say we take 80% out of Beam. We put 20% in this coin, we ride it back up. And then we repeat this over and over again until the market stops allowing us to do this. The market just goes, it's dead. And we do this till the end of the run. So we can go and make a ton of money. Let's say we have $100,000 at the beginning of the run and we take it to 500K. <clears throat> then we take 400K out, we're left with 100K, and then we play this game and make an additional 500K. Now, obviously the most profitable way to run the bull is just to hold to the very tippity top and sell right then. But we're not going to do that. It's just so unrealistic to think you're gonna do that.
So just don't do that. That's how everybody loses all their money. The goal is to walk out of here alive. And you, you have to understand, uh, this kind of concludes and wraps up the video. The goal is to leave alive, not max profit. Because I'm not joking when I say 90% of people lose, they don't, they don't leave in profit. And of the 10% that leave in profit, only about 5% leave in substantial profit. Like most people lose half their bag and they're still up like 50% from where they started from. You are locked in an arena with 100 people and you're going to have to kill and outperform 90 of them. If you don't outperform 90% of people in the market, you're gonna be the 90%. That is just how it is. And no one, no influencer, no TA system, not even me is gonna be there to save you. You're going to have to make these calls and you're gonna to have to have clarity on what's going on and you're gonna to have to execute. It's all fun and games while we're going up, but the number one point of this bull is you have to execute. And it's better to leave and 5X profit than wait for that 20X and then lose 90% of your money like everybody else. And that is going to happen to you. The odds are so strongly stacked against you, especially if it's your first bull market, that you might, that you might even wanna be more conservative than I am. Because that final dump, everyone's gonna laugh, everyone's gonna be giddy. Oh, dump, bring it on, I'll just buy more. And then poof, they all lose all their money. It's gonna happen again. People are gonna get way too bullish and it will happen again. Though my overall thesis is that we are going to go to like 200, 250K. I'm not betting on that though. And my strategy is once we pass 100K, I'm gonna start playing this game a lot more. Okay, the, the up and down and seed investing and getting the new projects and reinvesting profits into things while keeping a lot of it off the table. That's what I'm gonna be doing. That's not the most profitable way to play this market. You're gonna see people like, I held all the way to a billion dollars. I bought this coin at 50 cents and it's now $10,000 and I'm a billionaire. You're gonna see it all over the place. And you're gonna think, oh man, why didn't I do that? For every one person that does that, there is a million people, a million gravestones of people that try to do that and it didn't work out. So this is my thoughts on the market. This is what's gonna happen. I would be super duper prepared for cataclysmic dumps coming up it is it is not going to be fun you're you're all excited like bull market it's just like 2021 no if you are new here and your your nerves are not dumb and you're not dead inside like the rest of us in crypto have been here for a while you're going to look at your computer and want to cry you're going to look at your computer and feel embarrassed and shame you're going to be up so many times and be like man i just really need to sell you're going to be up at night stressed out because you have the chance to take money that's really gonna impact your life, but you, you, you think, oh man, there's a really good chance there's a five X from here. I don't wanna miss out on all that. This is my one chance to do this. And then you're gonna be thinking that and it's gonna go down and you're gonna feel absolute depression and sorrow and it's gonna go back up and you're gonna get euphoric and you're gonna get cocky and it's gonna go down and you're gonna laugh about it because the last two times you were right and then it's just gonna go down forever and you're just gonna be in a deep well of pain. Now, I didn't do that last run. I was a paranoid little pansy, so I got out at a really good time, but most people I know didn't. And I can't stress how serious, and despite my funny demeanor on the channel and how much I joke, I can't stress what a serious, high stakes PVB game you are playing and how you really need to be just like, once we cross this mid market, all the bets are off. This is the part of the Hunger Games where they throw a bunch of knives and weapons in the middle of the arena and let everybody go at it. This is where it starts to get really ugly and not fun. And you need to be prepped for this. You need to be keeping your mind clean. You need to be staying sharp. You need to not be drinking because when you're hungover and foggy next day, your, your decision-making skills are not gonna be there for a week or so. It's serious. It's getting serious. So I don't have anything else to say. If you want updates on the market, I'm never gonna come on this channel or Twitter be like, time to dump, because I don't know when to dump. I don't know when the market's gonna top. But if you want updates on what I think is going on, the coins I'm looking at, the plays I'm trying to make, follow me on Twitter at ZSS Becker. I don't have anything else to say, I'll see you next video.